Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. I am Ashley if you are new. And if you are new, please go ahead and stop what you're doing, hit that subscribe button, as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So can you guys believe that Christmas has passed? Currently, Christmas is um, a couple of days from now, but of course when you guys will be seeing this, you would have already celebrated Christmas and I'm hoping that you girls got all, you girls and your guys got all the goods and all the pieces and you more importantly were able to spend time with your family and friends and your loved ones. So I'm hoping that all you girls had, all you girls and guys had an amazing Christmas and I can't wait to see um, those of you who are on YouTube or that we follow each other on you uh, or on Instagram, I can't wait to see um, your stories and um, I just, I love the holidays. I love Christmas. So I'm a total Christmas nerd and um, I love all the festivities. <laughs> so I can't wait to, um, to see what you guys are doing and I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. And also hopefully we all will have an amazing new year. But yeah, I just can't believe that 2021 is already over almost. Like we only got like a couple of days left in this year. It kind of still feels like 2020. Like it kind of feels like we're kind of stuck in this uh, pan Panamera matrix, if you will. So it's just kind of weird. And I just really hope that 2020, I'm just, you know, you have to be hopeful. You know, you definitely can't just, you know, say that 2022 is gonna be just another hybrid of 2020. But, um, but definitely hopeful that, you know, all will be well and that this year will be the best year thus far. So again, I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy, Merry, Happy Kwanzaa, all the girls, girl. I hope you, <laughs> I hope you guys had, you know, an amazing holiday and, and an amazing holiday to come. I was supposed to go to Indiana, but that got kind of squashed. So I will be spending uh, Christmas here, but I'll be also hosting Christmas brunch girls. So, you know, I just need a reason to cook. Any reason to cook, um, you know, that, that has my name on it. So <laughs> I certainly look forward to that. Of course, I'll be sharing that with you guys. But like I said, I just wanted to come in and start off this week's vlog. Say, hey girl, hey, or hey boy, hey. Thank you so much for coming back. And girl, let's go ahead and get into it. You guys, I'm starting to worry about my monstera. Primarily because of this leaf. Like, what, what the hell is going on? I don't water her much. Probably once every two weeks because that's what they recommend. For the most part, she looks good. But I'm like, girl, I refuse to lose another plant. We gotta figure this out. And then this leaf look kind of bad too. Do y'all have any suggestions? <laughs> I could not lose Big Mama. Hey y'all, uh, I'm trying to come in and show y'all my outfit of the day, but I gotta grab my purse. But we can start with the top. So <laughs> I'm wearing my favorite, which is of course my faux leather cropped puffer bomber from Forever 21. My favorite t-shirt, which is the Beyonce Formation World t-shirt. Y'all don't see this a million times because I wear it out. Um, I'm wearing my Converse, the little platform Converse. Love these, super comfortable. I just hate the fact that they have, they love scuffs. Like as soon as you put them on, they want to scuff real bad. Let me grab my bag, hold on. And I'm carrying my many prada backpack so yeah this is the vibe well, y'all know that's all i do is casual just a cute little casual look for sunday fun day if you will and uh, i'm about to go out grab a donut catch a vibe let's go let's ride so in here still going through this closet going through the motions and um you know going through this closet and getting this together is a total labor of love but i'm enjoying it thoroughly and i'm finding old stuff so i just found this big huge louis the brown shopping bag child it's probably from the early 2000s but i'm like what in the world did i buy that was big enough to fit in that but it probably was a never cool knowing me or maybe i even had a speedy 40 
Like, you know, I don't nobody get the 40. I had the 40 because Joan Clayton had the 40, okay? And I had to have it because she had it. And that was like my favorite fashion girl back in the day. But I gave it to my aunt and she still carries it. And I wouldn't mind having it either. But anyway, it was probably my speedy 40 that was in this bag or a never full. So anyway, I'm about to toss this because like this is just like I don't need that. But anyway, y'all also let me mention I used to love these. But as you can see, they are effed up. And this was my second pair. And I know I had, you know, some very thick, some very wide feet back then. And, you know, I was obviously heavier. But I just feel like these are such trash. They are such bad quality. Because, like I said, this is my second pair. And they still did this on the side. And not to mention, not, not even just to mention that. But the, um, the lettering always used to come rub off. Now, granted, I used to wear these hoes out. I ain't gonna lie. But still, like, like I said, this is my second pair. And I could not believe that that Y had came off again. But these are trash. Um, I know they're not as popular as they used to be. But they are kind of classic because the coloring and how simple they are. But I do not recommend these. These are, like, probably one of my worst, buy, one of my, my worst luxury buys of all time. And I love the, the, you know, everything about them from a simplicity standpoint, but they are trash in quality. So, y'all, I just left Trader Joe's. I didn't pick up much, but I'll show you what I got when I get home. But it's not as packed. Actually, you know what? It is kind of packed. But today is Wednesday. So, what are we, two, three days, or two, three days away from um, Christmas? So, yeah, the girls are out. Y'all need to go out and get your, well, by the time you see this, it's over, but... The girls are out hunting and they're running. So this is all I picked up from Trader Joe's today. I got the big bottle, the Magnum bottle of their, what is that? Girl, a clot, a clot, uh, 1990 Brute Rose. Y'all, I love this. Y'all, uh, I shared this with you guys in a few vlogs back. I think it was around Thanksgiving that I picked this up and they have this every year. It's $12.99. They have it in the regular prosecco or sparkling wine too so you don't have to do the rosé but the last time the guy didn't ring me up so i got it for free but that didn't happen today your girl definitely had to pay today so of course i also picked up my turkey burgers y'all already know the regular routine got some lemons i finally got some big ones it's like they've been having like these little baby ass lemons lately and then the last thing was some these red argentine shrimp you guys know i love these shrimp i swear by these shrimp they're super clean super juicy super good super sweet and i will be using those this weekend for brunch because i'm gonna do brunch i was supposed to go to indiana for christmas but that got canceled so i will be doing like a christmas brunch here saturday of course i'll be sharing that with you guys but i'm gonna do some shrimp and grits so i had to pick up my red argentine shrimp girl love them four product four items was thirty dollars so yeah trader joe's i see a lot of people be saying they high as hell but alcohol is on there and these is like eleven dollars so <laughs> it is what it is but um but yeah christmas lunch i mean brunch is gonna be lit hey guys i don't know what possessed me to come over here to these shops on christmas eve at like 2 p.m <laughs> I had to park all the way down here, but your girl needs some banana rich powder, so we have to do what we have to do. So Chick-fil-A really got me messed up. Like I saved damn near all my calories for the day for this meal, for a chicken sandwich with no pickle and for a small macaroni. Look at this macaroni girl. Where's the rest? Don't play with me. Like, y'all know that I need all my macaroni. This is already a small. They owe me like four or five more tablespoons, not teaspoons, tablespoons of macaroni. Like, why did y'all try me like this, Chick fil A? I expect this from Popeyes, maybe even churches, but for uh, maybe even KFC. Definitely Bojangles. 
but y'all really try to need it and i feel away and y'all got the nerve to be high as hell just for a sandwich and some macaroni no drink seven dollars damn near eight dollars girl i should go back i ain't got time for that though <laughs> So good morning guys, it's Christmas morning. Of course I am a cooking and starting Christmas brunch. So I got my salmon patty mixture right here. This is just for some scrambled eggs and cheese. Got the honey butter biscuits, chicken sausage, shrimp and grits, some creamy ass grits. And I'm about to fry up them um, patties right now. So I'll show you guys. <laughs> So here is my Christmas brunch plate. I got chicken sausage, a little bit of salmon patty, shrimp and grits, an egg, and a honey butter biscuit. Of course, enjoying a glass of sparkling rose or a mimosa with no juice. <laughs> But yeah, this is the Christmas brunch vibe. Bussin'. Hey you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end off this week's vlog here. I know this is probably gonna be the shortest vlog that I've ever posted, but I really didn't do much on Christmas other than chill. We kinda chilled at the crib. A lot of my plans that I had in place got canceled. Um, and then, of course, the Amarion Baron is around here doing the touch dance and touching everybody with the COVID. <laughs> and I'm trying to stay COVID free. So, I definitely, we definitely um, kind of lay low for Christmas. And um, so, nothing much is going on. I am sitting here editing the blog that you guys are watching now and checking out the Zara sale. Of course, I think they have this sale twice a year, This um, their major sale if I'm not mistaken, but this is like the biggest one they typically have after Christmas. So I am checking out a couple of, a couple of pieces. As you know, your girl's birthday is coming up soon. So um, it's time to, you know, get it right, get it tight. Or, in other words, I have a reason to shop, <laughs> which we never really need a reason. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just checking out a couple of Zara pieces. Did you girls pick anything up for guys? If you did, please comment down below. If you made it to the end of the vlog, which hopefully most people did because it wasn't very long, you are greatly appreciated. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, I will see you guys in next week's vlog, and I promise it will be longer. <laughs>